<clears throat> Hello, here we are. Yes, three. Yes, yes. I'm here. Um, yes, I am here. If I wasn't here, I'd be somewhere else. Uh, behind me is my latest artwork, uh, Beethoven's Fifth. Da 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 da. I took a seven minute movement of one of the greatest songs or pieces of music ever created and, and cut it up, chopped it up, sliced it, put it back together, made minimal changes, if, if none, in fact, in the actual music. I use a, uh, this is a piano, of course, and piano. So I use a, uh, a, a version of the piano version of uh, Beethoven. I can't think of it. The, it would be, it's not List, it's not another person. Uh, I did that because uh, it was uh, the most easier for me to work with, the version. And uh, I came up with a minute 35 second version of Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. So if you've never listened to Seven Minute, you probably won't get this. But those who know that music will probably be freaked out. But here it is. This is the minute 35 version of Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. And don't expect the beginning to be what you think. Here we go. Put it at the end, not the beginning. Da 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 part. Da 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 da. Wait. Da 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 da. Yeah, there we go. That part. I put it at the end. I thought it'd uh, be more effective. Uh, nothing against Beethoven. I think he uh, is way beyond me. And yeah, I know this is not perfect. Uh, as far as the uh, the sound, you know, it's hard to connect seven minutes down to uh, thirty-five without making some compromises. And I didn't want to change any notes. I didn't change any notes. Uh, I did a, a, a soprano flute. Oh yeah, I want to show you uh, the rest of it here. It's not all on here. Here, we'll look at the rest. This is the, uh, this looks on like this. See how nice they are. I think I can do this without dropping the, ah, there we go. Woo. Woo. And here's the other part. Goes over here. See if I can put this on. No. Problem. There we go. Woo! That is fancy. I'm fancy. Put these down. Yeah, like that. And put these over here. Straighten these out. A little crooked. Whoop. Oh, no, no. I work on that. Uh, look at that. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. It's not all done yet, actually. I have uh, more to work to do on this. I have pieces to put on here yet. I don't know why. I just can't. I can't get this artwork done. I just forgot about that. 
I have to put in some my own beans and uh, and uh, I have to do put some uh, uh, I don't know, flags on whatever. But uh, anyhow, this is how it looks at this stage. Uh, I wanted to play the new music finally. Uh, brought over uh, onto my computer. Uh, it was from my computer to, well, it's in the Notion software to the Studio One software. This is the final version. I wanted you to hear that. So I'll have another little video on uh, when it's totally, totally finished. Okay? There we go. That's it. Scott Von Hosen at scottvonhosen.org or scottvonhosen.com. Okay. Thank you. Well, I am back. This is part two of the same video. The first video part was done on April 1st. Now it is April 4th. It took me, uh, I forgot, to do what I call my incidentals, which are uh, not just flats and, and, uh, and sharps and stuff like that, uh, but it's all the, uh, the side things that are in notation, like the beams and, and the, um, the uh, ties. And notes and this like this. This is a eighth uh, rest, which is an incidental, I think. But I, I include all the little stuff beyond the notes as, as I define them as incidental. Hey, uh, I'm gonna give you my definition of art. Uh, I don't want to forget this. Uh, I'm working on it. I like to keep things simple so uh, people can understand. And I, uh, I don't know if I said it before, but I'm gonna say it now because I think I have the complete idea. Uh, all art is craft. All craft is not art. The difference, colon. Meaning over form. Yeah, that is deep thought stuff. Well, I'm not going to explain it right now. I just want to just say it, just so I get it on video. If I haven't already said it. I don't think I've said that complete part. Well, anyway, I love the music of this, of this uh, piece, uh, it's really, really nice. I didn't, I don't start with the dot, 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 dot. I end with the dot, 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 dot. And that, uh, I like that. I like it. I, I was surprised by the sound quality. I'm getting better at that. And, uh, I was surprised how much work it took. I mean, I finished the main part is on the first and, and finished the rest of it on the, how much it took me to get, uh, figure out all these little incidentals, the beams, here, uh, the ties, these are my ties, you know. It was, um, I, I don't know, it just took hours and hours of rethinking and planning, figuring out how to do this. This is, this is uh, like the sustained note a little bit longer, that's what that is, you know. Um, the, the size of this artwork is 68 inches by about 48 inches high. That will vary based on, you know, what I do here. Because all this stuff comes with comes apart, you know, I can pull all this stuff out, I can move it all around. And my words here, you know, are here, I don't know if I mentioned it before in the first video, but I'll mention it again. Do not merely practice your art, but force your way into its secrets. It deserves that, for art and science can exalt man to divinity. That is a quote from uh, Ludwig, Ludwig van Beethoven, who's no art with us. Anyway. Uh, this thing sticks out, I measured it again, it's over eight inches from the wall. Wow, that's about, uh, that's about a pretty good distance for me. I don't want to go too far, otherwise it's going to look so, ah, so protruding. We don't want to overly protrude. And, uh, so, uh, uh, the background, I think it says, this is, uh, out of, uh, Frank Gehry. Let me get the book. Sorry, that. Frank, sorry, my dog is here too. Hi, Zelda. Sorry, scary. I did uh, the inspiration for that comes from this piece that he did, architectural sculpture, I call it, and I just uh, use that as a template for the background here. I'm like taking a piece of art and making art out of it, and that's what I do. I guess what I'm doing with my music, my music boxes. I'm taking a music art. The art of music and turn it into the art of art. I don't know. But anyway, that's where that background comes from. It's not really Beethoven-ish because it's not, you know, browns, you know, and, and gold. 
But I did put a little Beethoven-ish color in here because actually uh, Gary did use browns and stuff and, and mixed in with the with the uh, other uh, um, you know different more brighter more finely tuned sheet metal, sheet metal and and uh, shine you know uh, titanium I think he used titanium. Uh, so here we are. All this is is da 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 da. So this this all this of the music of the music box is a minute and a half. But all I am sampling is just the last few seconds of that. And that, that I've spoke about before, that's in the past, and I'll say it again, I can't, you know, I might, uh, my music got so sophisticated, so complicated, you know, I couldn't follow it, and you know, I couldn't build a canvas big enough to fit it all. So I had to make some compromises on that, and that makes sense to me. This is, this is a painting that is a, uh, you know, uh, sampling the music box itself. And the music that I created. So that is about it on there. And uh, I'm pretty proud of it. Uh, I really like it. Uh, I like the fact that it's really flexible. I don't know what's going to happen if this ends up in a museum someday. <laughs> You're going to have to watch out because somebody might come along and go, oh, look, I got a free sample here, a free sample from the uh, uh, Museum of Modern Art. You know, that could happen. Uh, I don't know what they're going to do. Well, that's their problem, not mine. Uh, mine is just the way it is now. Okay. Uh, my name is Scott Van Holzen, and uh, this is Art in Music. And uh, thank you for watching. Appreciate it.